So in this video, I'm going to show you the Isle of Sky top 10 must-sees for 2022. If you're visiting the Isle of Sky, drop this video a like and keep watching right to the end. My name's Robbie Romes and I make no fuss travel documentaries and tips videos. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications. Now if you've watched my first North Coast 500 video, you'll know I've visited the Isle of Skye and if you're heading there, then you're in for a magical adventure. So let's get into the Isle of Skye top 10 must-sees for 2022. Number 10, the dinosaur footprints at Staffin. Uh, this is where you can actually see fossils of dinosaurs and their footprints. I don't think I'm gonna find them today because I've come when it's high tide and I think they're kind of in like the rock pools and stuff. But yeah, apparently 166 million years ago, there was dinosaurs here. Incredible. Number nine, the Talisca Distillery. Talisca is the oldest working distillery on the Isle of Skye and is set on the shores of Loch Harport with dramatic views of the Coolins, producing an alluring, sweet, full-bodied single malt that is so easy to enjoy and like Sky itself, is so hard to leave. Tasting sessions are available and you can visit the gift store to purchase whiskey. Number eight, Portree. Portree is the main town on the Isle of Skye and it's a bustling port and thriving cultural center. It makes for a picture perfect photo and it's a popular tourist holiday destination. This place is a definite must see when you visit the Isle of Skye. And in number seven, one of my absolute favorites, Kilt Rock and Milt Falls. This place is one of those that you have to see to believe. It's a favorite for tourists because of the kilt-like shaped rock and its waterfall dropping dramatically into the sea. Parking here is super easy and there isn't any hiking involved to be able to see the falls. Rock with a kilt. Don't miss out on the nearby Lilt Falls, which you can see signposted on the road a few miles before Kilt Rock. In number six, the Fairy Glen. I didn't manage to get any great videos here because it was completely covered in fog and mist. However, heading there will allow you to see this magical and mystical small round top grassy hills with ponds. You won't feel like you're actually on this planet. That's what I'm saying. So we've just got to halfway and we've got another five incredible destinations coming right up. But first, I'm gonna talk about the sponsor for this video, which is my own North Coast 500 guidebook, which is now available to order using the link in the description below. So after almost a year in the making, this is the ultimate no fuss North Coast 500 guidebook featuring incredible locations, practical tips, and stress saving hacks to ensure your experience on the route is simply unforgettable. This in-depth book has everything you could possibly ever need to plan your trip, from itineraries to budgeting. I've even added some of my hilarious personal experiences in there. And whilst there are some great North Coast 500 guidebooks out there currently, I don't think there's anything quite like this in terms of stress saving hacks, complete itineraries, and there's even space for you to write your own travel journal. So make sure you get a copy of my North Coast 500 guidebook now using the link in the description and a huge thank you to everyone who's bought it so far. Right, let's get back to it. Number five, Dunvegan Castle. So this is the oldest continuously inhabited castle in Scotland and has been the ancestral home of the Chiefs of Clan MacLeod for 800 years. Today you can tour the award-winning castle and Highland estate steeped in history and clan legend. You can also take a boat trip from the castle to see the beautiful Loch Dunvegan and its vast seal colony. In number four, Kerrang. This is a perfect walk for any budding photographer as it passes through some of the most spectacular landscapes in Scotland. As part of the Trottenish Ridge, it has been formed by a massive landslip which has created high cliffs, hidden plateaus and pinnacles of rocks. Try to visit on a clear day for the best views, although that's not always possible on sky. In number three, the fairy pools. Now you can't do any research into the Isle of Skye without seeing the fairy pools mentioned. These beautiful crystal clear blue pools on the River Brittle are really famous and entice visitors from all over the world as they make for some great wild swimming for those brave enough to enter the cold water. When we visited during mid-May, there were a number of nutters braving the beautiful blue yet freezing waters. There was even people doing like backflips and crazy things like that. The walk to get to the fairy pools is achievable by anyone regardless of fitness, but just be aware there are a few uphill stretches, so please take your time and enjoy the magnificent scenery. And in number two, the Nice Point Lighthouse. This has to be one of the most famous lighthouses in the whole of Scotland. If you visit any gift shop in Skye, you'll see this place on a lot of postcards. You can get fantastic panoramic views from the cliffs nearby, 
just head to the right hand side and mine the boggy areas. Alternatively, you can walk all the way down to the lighthouse. While the walk down is an easy one, the path does get quite steep at times, so please take care. So we are at our second stop of the day. This is the Neist or Neist uh, lighthouse and viewpoint, which is obviously quite a dramatic uh, lighthouse sat on a cliff. And if you walk either side of the cliff, you get a nice view of it. Uh, when you first park up here, you can't actually see it because of how it's located beyond the big rock. So if you go up to the right, you can see it. Or if you follow the path, I think there's a bit of a walk down. Um, but there's a steep descent and then obviously a steep descent on the way back. So we didn't bother with that. We just went to the side, took some photos, flew the drone and happy days. And in number one of the Isle of Skye top 10 must for 2022, of course, it's the Old Man of Stork. When you think of the Isle of Skye, this has to be one of the first things that comes to mind. This large pillar of rock known as the Old Man dominates the landscape in the northeast of Skye. Walking up to the Old Man is not difficult, but does require some determination. You'll be rewarded with some wonderful views over Skye and the surrounding islands. Just one thing to note, sometimes the store isn't visible from the road or car parking area due to the cloud or mist. But the weather can change in a matter of minutes, so potentially sit it out or just pop back later or another day if you've got the time. It's a great walk if you've got a dog, as you can see Archie really enjoyed himself on this one. And overall, it's just one of those magical places that Sky's got to offer. Don't get me wrong, Sky has so many of these unusual and beautiful breathtaking locations, but it's really epitomised by the old man of store. If you visit here, bring your camera, you're definitely going to need it. And there we have it, the Isle of Sky top 10 must-sees for 2022. Once again, thank you all for watching, and if you found this video useful, please subscribe, hit the notification button, catch me on Instagram at Robbie Rome's, and I'll see you guys in the next one.